I'm Michelle Ferrer here, member of parliament for Peterborough Kawartha. And you know, um, it's funny because in the House of Commons every single day, you hear the prime minister and the minister for families, children and social development tell you that the best thing they've ever done is $10 a day childcare. Well, I've got a lot of people here behind me and parents and operators who would tell you otherwise. Ladies, what do you have to say to the government? At what cost? Yeah. At what cost? At what cost? That is exactly the truth. We are literally bankrupting these operators. They were warned years before of what would happen. And of course, they didn't listen. Now, I want to show you this one sign. Sorry, ladies. I'm going to come around here for one sec. Look at this. I run the business, but the government runs my wallet. Mm. Boo. Okay, so they have come from across Canada to protest the $10 a day marketing program. This was never about childcare. Don't let them fool you about this. These ladies are small business operators. They're entrepreneurs. It is small business week, and the government is literally running them into the ground. If they truly care about childcare, why are they excluding almost 50% of childcare operators in this country? Why are they actively sabotaging them, decreasing access? That is the question I would ask you. Now, there is Crystal Churcher right here. You have come uh, and organized a lot of this. Crystal, what is the message you want to give to genocides and to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on behalf of all the operators and parents across this country? Stop making this about government policy and your ideology and make it about the children. Stop disrespecting the women childcare operators like me for making a profit, for creating businesses that support our communities and give it back to the children where it was supposed to be in the first place. Give it back to the parents, fund the parents. Fund the parents, okay. Before we wrap up, I just wanna read this to you. Sorry, one sec, Be deal with me here. Hang on to this for me for one sec, because I wanna read. You can show all the people here. Okay. Um, say, say hi to genocides. Okay. Say hi. Okay, Jenna, come visit us. Talk to us. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with people who care for children. Listen, um, we will. This is what Genocides tweeted out yesterday. We will always fight for a system that puts families and kids first and prioritizes quality and affordability over profit. What would you like to say to her about that comment? Liar, liar. Um, I think that. Well, you are not putting anything over profit right now. You look at look at these women. We are all moms. We're educators. We are entrepreneurs that started something to support families. We put families first and children first. The government is not doing that. And you know who suffers? The parent, because there's no choice. The bottom line is the government and genocides and Justin Trudeau says they want to decide what's best for your child. Don't you think parents should choose the best form of child care for their child? Do you guys agree with that? Yeah! All right, keep it up. Keep being loud. Keep being proud. You guys are amazing. Thank you for caring Thank for you. our children. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. And don't stop using your voice. And I just focus okay. on helping families, not destroying our businesses. Say that one more time. Focus on helping families, not destroying our businesses. Well said. Okay, can you guys read all of this? This is great. And I'm really glad to see the media is covering this as well because this is the real story that you don't always get from the, you know, Justin Trudeau and Jenna Suds. They are not standing up for your families. These operators, these entrepreneurs, and these parents are. Thank you, guys.